Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. Well, you may have noticed I haven't actually got anything on my table at the moment. That doesn't mean we're not going to do anything, but I thought we'd do something a little bit different today. Some of you I know are thinking of starting your own YouTube channel and that would be fantastic and I can't wait to see what you do. But I know some of you may be a little bit frightened, maybe a bit apprehensive. So what I thought I'd do today is run through what you'd need to do to make your own video. So first of all, obviously, you need a project and I've got a project here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to run through everything you're going to likely to need. Now, before we get going, I must tell you, you do not need some super expensive camera. You don't need a big video camera or anything like that. You can use what you've probably already got at home. Most people these days have got an iPhone or a smartphone or whatever they're called. So as you can see, I'm not that tech savvy. So you can use that. You can do what I'm doing if you like and use your iPad. I use my iPad for all of my recording. I never use my phone because the screen is so small. The phone is very old and I'd never see it from where it is. Obviously you need a stand. I'm just using an old music stand and I'm having it flat. So you can use whatever you've got at home. Make use of what you've got. You don't need expensive equipment. That's one of the biggest turnoffs. People think, oh, you've got to have super expensive cameras and you've got to have a studio. No, you don't. I've got a fold up table in my living room. That's what I use. And so I've got a piece of white, ordinary white paper. Well, it was white at one time. It's not terribly white now, but it's whitish. So that's all I've got so that we've got a clean-ish background. The next thing you're going to need to do after you've got your project sorted, you need to make sure that you've got all the tools you need because there's nothing more annoying then going through a video, you started your recording. The other thing you need to know is don't worry about what people think because no one can see you all the time you're recording, unless you go live, of course, but I wouldn't advise you to do that straight away. In fact, I'm not sure that YouTube allows you to do it straight away. You, I think you have to have a certain amount of subscribers first, but once you're recording, like, like I'm doing now, no one can see you. Once you're recording, you're the only one in the room, unless you've got family members, of course, but no one can see you, no one can see what you're doing, so don't worry about it. No one will see your video until you decide to upload it. So you can do some practice videos first. So let's get on and see what you need. So you might need a pair of scissors. Now I've got all mine just off camera, just over there, just off camera, just over here. So I've got a pair of scissors. I don't use many tools, but we, I've brought some with me today so that to give you an idea. I will need some glue for today. I will need my trusty red runner tape. I couldn't do a video without my red runner tape. And I've got just a couple of extra tools that I've actually made because I don't use many tools, so I haven't got many. So I've made a couple of tools. I've made myself a spatula in my brand colours and I've made myself a ruler. I have got a, a proper ruler, but when I do my measuring, I don't bother about thirds and fifths and eighths and all the other things. The only fractional measurements I use are quarter, half and three quarters. So I've made myself a ruler that's just got those measurements and of course the whole inches. I don't do centimetres. So there we go. But that's just me. You can do whatever is comfortable for you. You don't have to go to the extravagance of making your own tools either. Most people either buy them or they've got them. So that's what you need. You need to make sure that you've got your tools and everything you're going to need to make your video. We're not actually going to need the scissors today, so we'll put them to one side. So once you've got your setup, you've got your tools, you've got your project. So what we're going to do now, we're actually going to do a very quick project and so that you've got something to watch. So we're going to make a Christmas card. This is a five by seven and I've put, it's, it's just an ordinary white five by seven card and I've put a five by seven inch mat on it just to give it a bit of a background. Mm. Now here we've got a second mat just to give it a bit of color. And this is about a six by four. And I'm going to put this on with, with double-sided tape, which I've already put on, on the back. So I'm just going to very quickly take off the backing tape. It's not particularly directional, but what we are going to do, we're going to use a spot of glue and we're going to just rub that over. It just gives you a bit of t extra time to get it stuck so it doesn't stick instantly. Gives you a bit more time to put it where you want it so you can slide it around a bit. But this has got lines on it, so it actually helps. So we're going to put that right there, like that. Then I have got a sentiment which came 
from one of my paperbacks and I'm not quite sure how long how big that is let's have a look so that is three by four and a quarter so you don't have to use these measurements this is just a sample I probably won't even put these measurements in the description box but I've got foam tape on here so again I'm just going to take the tape off or the backing tape off anyway so we're going to pop that there and I'm going to put it a bit higher because we're going to do something slightly different at the bottom for this one. Now, on a previous card, not necessarily that I did here, but that I've made, I'd cut off, I, there was a really nice sentiment on it and I cut the sentiment off and I did it on a couple of them. So the card, the bits of the cards that I've got left over, I'm going to use to add to this card. I, it was a wreath, but I'm just going to make it into a half wreath. And I'm going to put this on. I'm going to, because it's going to be layered. I don't want it too bulky. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. So that's the other thing when you're making a video: make sure that you, what you're doing is in shot, so that people can see, so that your viewers can see what you're doing. So you have to constantly be looking in the screen, or occasionally look up and see, just to make sure that you're in shot. So, so many things to be aware of. But as you get used to it, as you get into it, it will become more automatic. And so I'm just going to put the rest of these on. So this was, as I say, from a couple of other, other cards, which I'm using to make this card. And I've just got a couple more pieces to do. So we're just going to, you can use glue for this if you want to, or if you wanted to make it a bit more dimensional, you can use foam tape or foam pads. But I didn't really want it that bulky. Because I want to put it in an envelope. There. So that's it. Once you've done that, so you've got your, and make sure you have a flat surface, of course. So you've got your surface. It doesn't have to be permanent, as I've said. This is a collapsible table. It'll go back out in the hall when I finish recording. So you've got your surface, you've got your tools ready, you've got your project. Once you've done that, you make up your project, and as you go through, you would normally tell, as I've done, what the measurements are and then what you do i have got a little sample video i've brought my phone in because i can't use my ipad because i'm <laughs> i'm using it here so when you want to upload your video i'm going to do this from the phone what you do is you open your youtube app so you find your youtube app it's that one it's the red rectangle with a white square in it or right red triangle you find the video that you want to upload i just did a very sa quick sample video you tap on it we won't go through, i'm not going to upload this one but you tap on it you go to video what you do actually you you press on the cross there you've got a you've got a little plus sign an add sign and you press on that you press video then you press the video you want to select and then you would press next. We're not going to do that now. But then once you press next, you go and you add a title. You tap on or click on the description box. And that's where you add, well, that's where a lot of people anyway. You add any links you want to add. You add your measurements, any other information about the video. So you put that all in your description box and then you click on next. Now, if you don't make your videos for children, you do need to click on not for kids, because if you don't, YouTube won't upload it. So click on not for the, not for kids, next, and then upload. It's ever so easy. You just follow the prompts. Once you get into it, it'll give you prompts. You just follow the prompts. It's ever so easy. It's so easy, even I can do it. So there you go. There is a very quick overview of how we make our YouTube videos. And even if you're not thinking of starting your own channel, I remember when I first started watching YouTube videos, I never gave a thought to how they were done or what you had to do, any preparation, how you uploaded them. I just used to watch them and enjoy them. But as I got into making my own, I realised what you have to do. I know some people are heavily into editing and I don't do that. I don't edit my videos at all. They are, as you see, they are as you see them. I don't do any editing at all. So if I make a mistake, it happens here and you see it and how I try and get over it. But as this was just a quick run through, there were no mistakes today, fortunately. So there you go. There is a very quick overview of how to prepare, 
put together and upload your own YouTube videos. So if you are thinking of doing your channel, I hope this has given you a bit of an insight and I hope you've enjoyed the little project that we've put together. And I shall use this as a card to send off. I haven't written my cards yet. I better get on with it. So I shall go off now and I shall see you very soon with a regular project. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I know it's been a bit different, but sometimes it's good to do something different. So take care, everybody. Oh, by the way, thank you for everyone who said that you want, you're interested in a group. I'm working on that one. So I'm hoping to start the group or open the group on the 1st of December. So now I've published it, I've got to get on and get it ready. So that's my plan. I'm hoping to open the group on the 1st of December, just in time for Christmas. So we'll do lots of Christmas projects then. So I'll see you then. And in the meantime, thank you again for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Take care, have fun, and as always, happy crafting. Bye-bye for now.